Hi, Stefan from CR Kennedy here. Today on this clip we're going to look at uh, guideline options and how to select a guideline. We're up and running in our grade screen. To select the guideline we need to go into the tools menu. In the tools menu you can see here guideline options. We'll select that. This brings us into the options menu and you can see at the top we've got guidelines already. None are selected. By hitting the drop down that allows me to pick any of the lines that are already created within the project. If I don't want to do that, I already have a surface file, which is the line work of, uh, in a .geo format. If there are uh, multiple files, you can pick the type of file that you want. I'm happy with the uh, current selection. From here, pick polyline. This is advantageous when you don't know the particular line you're looking for. So you can actually look where the machine is and check the relative line that you wish to select. To do this, zoom right in and you will find your machine. So you can see the excavator is moving along there. It does have a line, we'll get rid of that. Um, so to select the line, it's as simple as touching the screen on the line that you want. So I want the center line. And I will, you can see now that that center line is highlighted. To go select, I now have another screen where I can make some different choices and more importantly, I can rename it. So if I touch on the name, you can name it something relative to the site you're working on. Perhaps you're looking to do a toe of batter, so you could write in toe of batter five or something that's relative to the operator rather than what was already selected by the surveyor or whoever created the string. You have two options here. You can simply go by hitting go, you'll go directly into the screen and that line will be referenced and you're away. Or you can go save and use. If you save and use, it will do the same thing. It goes back to the main grade screen or dig screen. You can see now I have a center line selected and I have a, an offset on how far across I need to get to that center line. But that center line's now named if we've changed the name and it's available in the earlier screen of the drop down of the available center lines that are already picked. So saving and naming gives you that extra option. You can see, as I say, there's our center of our bucket, which is our reference point. So this screen here is telling me that I need to go to the right 1.1 meter. And you know that, that things will change when I move me up the reference point. You can see straight away our distance has changed. So you know clearly that line, that dotted line is now appearing. That's our guideline that we've chosen and it's referencing it because of the change in the option when I've changed the bucket position. And that's how you select the guideline in Icon 3D software.